then what should you look for when trying on a running shoe? Well, the doctor's here with the answer. Plus, learn how to... Oh, no. <laughs> Plus, learn how to tell if you need new running shoes, and finally, we'll help you dress your baby bump. Flower. And is it time to buy new running shoes? The doctor is here to show us how to tell. Stick around, everyone. Could your running shoes be causing your running injury? We'll find out when we come back. If you're a runner, you want to tune in to this segment right here. Nisha and I both like to run. And I'm better at it than throwing. <laughs> well, that's true. You know what? It's not debatable. God gave us all <laughs> special gifts. We have Dr. Thank Bruce you. here from the Ogden Clinic, and he's he runs, too. He says it's not his favorite thing. He's For more sure of a basketball not. player. But we're talking about running shoes and, and the best way to pick the best running shoes for you. Minimal versus a lot of support. I mean, because I think hers, her shoes are not that supportive. They're pretty minimal. Mine are Asics and are trail running shoes that are really, really supportive. How do you know what you need? Well... You know, the theories have, have changed through the years for that. I, what I tell my patients is go to a running shoe store that specializes in that. And most of the stores now will give you time on a treadmill and you can just run and experiment. And I think that's really the best because a lot of the advice that we used to give about examining someone's foot and recommending a specific shoe, a lot of that theory is out the window now. And so I tell my patients, I, I usually will give them a, like a shoe category if they need a really supportive shoe or need a, 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 a more of a padded shoe. I'll give them kind of the category, but then I'll, I'll tell them to go to a store, and there are many stores out there, and find a store that is okay with letting you be on the treadmill for five or ten minutes, experimenting, trying several shoes, and finding one that feels good. That, that's really important. So when you're on the treadmill, what should you pay, be paying attention to or when you're running? What types of injuries or pain are you seeing with runners with the wrong shoe? Well, you can get all kinds of injuries. It, it, it probably is it's most related to violating the rule of twos. So when I say the rule of twos, I mean T-O-O. -O. So probably 95% of the running injuries I see are patients who have run too fast, run too many days during the week, run too far, run, began a, program, run, began a running program and, and was, were too aggressive in the beginning. So violating that rule of twos leads to overuse. And so I tell all of my patients, start slow, follow a prescribed running program and don't overdo it. So don't, don't run two days in a row in, in the beginning. Don't decide to become a runner and run seven days in a row. I just had a kid who's a 15 year old high school kid and got a stress fracture in his foot. And you would look at this kid and say, how would he get a stress fracture? He got a stress fracture for running eight miles two days in a row, oh, had never really been a runner, and he just, so he violated the rule of twos. You can't do that or you can get injured. So. It is interesting because when I run too fast, I you feel usually it. hurt yeah, my you IT, IT band, band sure. and I change the way I run, and I don't know which is the better way, but I used to run heel toe, and yeah. now I run on the balls of my feet. Well, that's what the barefoot running craze was all about doing, and, and that's where a lot of the change in running shoe science has come from, is, is the running shoes used to force you onto your heel, mm -hmm. and the belief was that was leading to a lot of injuries, and so when you run on the newer running shoes, there's the zero drop shoes that are out there now, and you'll hear that buzzword a lot or barefoot running shoes or minimalist shoes those force more weight on the ball of your foot and that probably changes the way you run and that probably is a more mechanically correct way to run but it takes a while it's good that you can do that because a lot of patients it took can't. me forever right. I go to get there mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. to you and and you don't want to just jump to that and I have patients all the time say I like my shoes but I'm gonna go to these these barefoot shoes or these minimalist shoes and I always caution them because you can re get in trouble quickly. Barefoot running or minimalist shoes really change the mechanics. It changes the way you run and it can really stress things that have never really been stressed. Do barefoot running shoes have enough support? No, they don't have any support. They're really like running in a sock. But what that does is forces you to run without heel striking and you land on the ball of your foot. And, and mechanics, biomechanic, uh, specialists will look at that and they say that looks like a little bit more correct way to run but it can immediately lead to, to injury if you do that and you've never done it before if you go running barefoot even if you feel good while you're running the next day you'll feel it oh yeah you feel mm -hmm. it in your calf all those muscles in your calf get really sore and tight it's okay if you do it slow and work into it I know a lot of 
really intense runners will run their normal schedule, but maybe one day a week they'll go do a short run barefoot because they feel like it helps all of their muscles develop. And I'm okay with that. I I'm have, okay with barefoot running too, but you got to be I have slow. Five more questions, Dr. Bruce. I know. So interesting. If Darn you it. have questions too, Ogden Clinic is where he is located. If you've been feeling unexplained pain, but you want to get out there and keep running, are your shoes? Is it time to get new ones? He can answer all of those. OgdenClinic.com for more information. That's their phone number as well. Dr. Bruce, thank you so much you for being here. This morning, um, we're going to send Reagan out to the garden next. Should I go? With milk